Hi, so to put a signature line into Microsoft Office, uh, the first thing a lot of people do is they go to the insert tab and they use this signature line here. If you click on it, this dialog box opens up, you can put a name in and you can put in a title and you can put in an email address. You can allow them to put comments on and you click OK on the dialog box and this pops up. Now, I like to always have a date line beside a signature line, so you can just push space a few times over to where you want the signature line to go, push signature line again, type the word date and click OK and the signature line pops up. Now I find this is really difficult to format and kind of ugly and I don't like how it looks. Now I've seen a couple people suggest a technique where you use a 2x2 two two table and then you turn your underline tool on and you just push space all the way across the top two cells and then you type your text underneath the cells to or underneath yeah right underneath where you type the spaces in order to have your text lined up with the lines above them and this is a a good technique in AutoCAD that I know this is how I was taught how to draft actually so that your text is lined up with the lines if you're you know creating a title block on a drawing but I find in Microsoft Word this doesn't always work so the last step is to select the table, go to the design tab, go to the borders and turn the borders off. Now you'll notice the lines didn't work and sometimes I forget to turn the underline on. So I'll just double check that it was and sure enough, it wasn't that one. It wasn't in this, this cell, but it didn't work in this cell. So we know that it didn't work anyways. So I'm gonna show you how to use tabs. Now what a tab does, a tab moves a cursor across the document horizontally. Now, something else you want to do is you want to turn on your show hide tool. The show hide tool allows you to see all your control characters. So these are line breaks. These here are spaces. These are the cells of the table that I created. I'm just going to give myself a bit of room here. You also want to make sure your ruler bar is on. You make sure your ruler bar is on by going to your view tab and making sure ruler is selected in case it's not. Now, under the home tab, there's this little box here that you can click on to open up your paragraph settings. Older versions of Word, I think it was a drop down menu, you had to right click on the show high tool, but there was this dialog box and it hasn't changed that much in newer generations of Word. Now, the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to change my after spacing to zero and my line spacing to single. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to use tab leaders to create the lines for my signature line and then right after that on the next line I'm going to type my text in. So this button here opens up the tabs dialog box so just go ahead and click on that. Now the first line I want my signature line to be a little bit longer than my date line because I think it looks nicer so I'm going to stop it at 3.5 inches. So I'll just type in 3.5 and I'll make sure I use this leader, number four leader. The reason I'm using this leader, even though it looks dashed, it does it gives me a solid line. So I'll click set. Now the next leader, I'm gonna want a bit of space between the signature line and date line. I'm gonna use a half inch space. So I'll type in four. Notice that I type in four, I don't type in a half. I need to use absolute referencing to the ruler bar. I don't use relative from the last tab. If I typed in half, it would actually insert the tab before 3.5. And now I don't want a leader for the space, so I'll just click set. And the last one, I just want it to go to the margin, which the, the advantage of the ruler bar on, it shows me it's at 6.5 inches. So I'll type in 6.5, not 6.8. Turn this leader on, click set. And then I'll just double check that each tab has my settings. So 3.5 has the leader and it's left aligned. Four is left aligned, doesn't have a leader. 6.5, I have a leader and it's left aligned. So I'll click set and I'll click okay. And then I'll push the tab button three times. And then I'll push enter to start typing my text. So signature. And then instead of using spaces to bring my cursor over here to uh, type in the word date, I'm going to use another tab. So I'll go back to my tab settings. Now I need to clear out all of these tabs that I programmed in, with, which I can do by using the clear all button there, or I could have cleared each one individually if I wanted to save one for, you know, some reason. Now I find four inches isn't quite enough. I've done this before and I find the deal actually overhang this line a bit. So I'm going to type in 4.04 .04 without a leader and I'll click set and then I'll click OK, push tab, type in the word date. And now to give you a comparison of the three options, I'll turn off the show hide tool so you can see what each of these looks like. So this is the traditional Microsoft Word uh, 
signature line, which takes up a lot of paper space because they, they save quite a bit of space for you to put in a title there and comments and what else, whatever else you want to put in. Uh, the table option, which doesn't work all the time. And then this option with the tabs, which I find is quite elegant and it looks nice and gives you the, the highest degree of control. You can write a line the word date if you want. You can make this line shorter. You can make this line longer. You can make this line shorter. You, you can play around with it to find uh, your preference, but, but I like this option the best. So I hope that was a great help for you. Please like, subscribe, and give me any other suggestions for <coughs> formatting issues that you're having.